My family is fill in the blank. What's the first thing that popped into your head? Crazy? <laughs> Weird? Amazing? If you had mis asked me this when I was growing up, I would have said small. I grew up as an only child. It was me, my mom, and our dog, Bear, a 24-pound miniature poodle who I affectionately referred to as my brother. I would dress him up and do his hair. He was a pretty good stand-in, but I wanted a sibling that didn't have four legs. And I would plead with my mom, please, oh please, can't I have a baby brother? I'll take care of them. You won't have to do anything, I promise. See, my mom had chosen to have only one child because she was a self-proclaimed single mother by choice. When she found herself single at 40, she figured, why wait? So instead of finding some other guy to be her partner, she kind of just said, screw it all, and got a sperm donor, and she made me. <laughs> People always wonder if I wanted a dad. Apparently, I first asked about my dad when I was two, turned to my mom and said, where's my dad? She said, you don't have a dad. Oh, I said and kept playing. I always knew I was conceived by anonymous donor number 11. And here he is, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'11", 175 pounds, liked guitar and racquetball, and had an MBA. I never, I never longed for a dad, but I always wanted siblings. Sure, I was the weird kid. I wore matching shirt skirt outfits until I was 12, and maybe I made myself a retainer out of aluminum foil, but I had an excuse. I was downright bored. I felt jealous of people who had big Thanksgiving dinners and family reunions to attend. I wanted someone to stay up late in bed with and make lemonade stands with. And when I was 17, that wish came true, but in a much different way than I imagined. The donor sibling registry a website where I paid $99 to see if anyone else shared the same sperm donor as me. And I found five, five half-siblings who shared donor number 11. <laughs> I first met Max in 2009, and he immediately felt like a brother. We met on a beach in Florida and have since shared three Thanksgivings together, trips from California to Columbia, and I was at his wedding this past weekend. <laughs> For years, we thought it was just the six of us half-siblings from the website. We knew a new one could register any day, but after five years, we just kind of gave up hope. Then, in 2015, the DNA testing service 23andMe gained popularity. <laughs> you send in some saliva, and most people use this to learn about their genetic history and ancestry, but you also get to see a database of DNA relatives. We started discovering new siblings almost every month. I met my first sister, Frances, last June, and meeting her felt like running into someone I'd known my entire life. We share almost the same mannerisms, and we're always looking for things we have in common. Can you sleep 12 hours straight? Me too. Do you have a square forehead? So do I. I started off as an only child, but I now have 17 siblings. <laughs> and counting. That number grew just last week. Many of my siblings' parents lost their donor info, but others were never told. Now anytime someone takes a DNA test, they discover a whole new world of family. And we're planning our first half-sibling union for August. <laughs> We've been using a Google spreadsheet to keep track of new additions, but we might have to get ourselves a Slack channel soon. Because while many countries limit the number of offspring per donor, the U.S. does not. And people have discovered up to 189 half-siblings. And we just found a new first cousin the other week. He had to be the nephew of our donor, but he also had a sperm donor dad, too. We were confused. But turns out, plot twist. Our sperm donor dad had a brother, our uncle, who was also a sperm donor. <laughs> If you had asked me 10 years ago, I would have said my family is small. But that is a story that needs revising. The only thing I know is my small family always seems to be growing. And I was in a unique situation to find new family, but I created one in my own way too. So whether you love the family you grew up with or always wish you had a different one, I challenge you to fill in the blank with whatever you want your family to be today. Because I believe family is what and who we make it.
Thank you.